Hi everyone, and welcome to the Joshua Zolo Art Show. I'm Joshua Zolo, and I am going to paint. Let's just get right into it. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to paint wood. I've got a few different things that I'm going to base it on. This curve is cool too. So that's what we're gonna do today. Got all kinds of cool wood stuff. Check this thing out. It's a big wood burl. It's one of the things you collect up in uh, Mendocino. And this thing's, these are cool too. These little driftwood thingies I have here. This thing looks like a little trilobite or something. Cool. So, wood. Let's get going. First thing I'm going to start with is some purple. Already got kind of a sienna color here. So I want to make it a red. I'm going to make this kind of a reddish. You want that real dark. I always do things a little bit heavier handed than I initially would um, think. Because then you can blend everything into it. It works good. A little yellow highlight there. So how's everyone doing? You can actually look in this and paint at the same time. Oh, no, I can't. Never mind. Never you mind on that. I'm putting a little yellow highlight so that they're reflecting the color off of each other there. And then I have ultramarine blue. I'm putting this as a straight blue down here. There we go. We're going to... First, I'm just getting this a little bit, and then I'm gonna start putting in wood grain, and then we'll put more, then we'll just go back and forth on it. One thing that I've noticed when I look at that, I can see certain, it reverses the image. So I can see it in, um, in a different direction than I would normally, it's bizarre. So I can see like holes. It's almost like seeing from, I don't know. I don't know why, but it's cool. It's cool, it's cool. All right, pretty happy with the way my, uh, thank you to anyone who looked at my last video. And if you haven't, after you see this, go and check it out. All right, first off, yeah, red. Get that fire going. Oh geez, I went heavy on that. Okay, let's go with it. Go with it. But I need to have that highlight again. Bing, bing, bing. Ooh. I like that. Just bump it down into there. Cool. Got that. Okay, there's a few different ways you could do like a wood grain. You could use a brush. I'm using oils, by the way. Use a brush and just start doing wood patterns. Keeping in mind that this is a uh, bowing, you know, so go there, Got this one in the middle. There we go. Get the pattern going a little bit. Bing, bing. Cool thing about wood grain is you can do it, uh, any direction, any, it's pretty free, free form. Just think of where the light would be catching. Yeah. Even though that's not necessarily what's happening. Still just do it the same way. So just think of it going beep, 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 beep down this way. So it'll lighten up this way as it gets darker. 
We're just gonna use a different color in that actually, on that part. Let's do a little one here. There we go. Get some texture down there too. Gotta get some texture everywheres. There we go. Cool, 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 cool. Little more, little more. Don't know when to stop. Right there, there. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Unless we can switch up here too. Switch. Oh, that was a little heavy. I'll just use my hand. Use my hand. Brush it down. mellow it out and this also will give it that kind of spray that um, wood grain has feathery type of look there we go. perfect let's go in all right now I'm gonna do something a little outright just and see what if it works I'm gonna put pink in here Coming up towards this spot. Yeah, I like that. Balance it with a lighter yellow. Naples yellow. It's the bomb. You can mix it with blue. Naples yellow, you can mix with blue. And it um, won't turn green. It's awesome. Okay, let's do a little pink here too. Might as well bring the pink through this whole thing. I've got like a purple. This was mainly like, uh, it was Sienna, burnt Sienna when I first started it. And then I'm using like ultramarine. Make a little hole right there. Both ultramarine red and ultramarine blue. I'm like a pigment freak. I use way too many. You can do a palette with like 10 or 12 colors. I'm just insane. I mean, I just love color, color and I like all the different aspects of it. And I want to know everything. I want to learn, know everything on the planet. That is my plan. Cool. Pink. Pink like the redwoods. Can't go wrong on wood grain. Unless you think... But all paintings like that. Main thing is not think. Well, I mean, you're thinking, but not um, let the body disappear. Let the mind relax. And then see what happens. See what comes out. All right. It's edge is too dark. Too dark park. Does anybody know how, in the comment section, if you know how to like, I can play music. A little bit of music without getting deleted. I just don't want to spend so much time on the video and then get it deleted. I was doing an Instagram live. Oh, I should um, paint and talk at the same time. I was doing an Instagram live and I got cut off because I had music in the background, which Thank God I got cut off, actually. The camera came on, and I panicked and went mute. And so I sat and I painted with my back to the camera for, like, one song. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to just turn it off. And I turned around and it says, your video has been stopped and deleted because of co possible copyright infringement. And I was like, oh, thank God. Thank God. And then I turned it on and did another one and it felt good. It felt good. Just have to 
jump off the cliffs in, in these type of things, you know? I'm liking this. This looks good. Need more pink in the center here. All right, I'm using a Rose Lake in here. Quina, Quina Crydrone Tone Red. I, I can't pronounce a lot of stuff because I learned everything in the library. The internet of the 80s. So it's all just like visual, like I could smell it. <laughs> it's looking good. See, I'm just keeping this light. I got this light. Then I'm keeping this dark. And then I'll come in here with um, some stuff too, just to give it, you know, some texture in here. But just a suggestion of texture in here in the shadowy part is fine because the, the brain follows this stuff through. And this, you know, it's just enough. Okay, I'm liking this. I like this. So what I'm going to do now is because I like the way that this looks is I am going to do a little bit of this background and I'll show you how it'll pop. Oh, I came out here to do some gardening because I was struggling with that painting and look at this cool dude. Red beetle. Awesome. On the green, look at that. Beautiful. Of course, I like it. Ooh, there he goes. Goodbye. What I realized is I need to do like more of this background thing to on this whole piece. I'm going to pull this piece back. But one thing that I did notice when I started doing this background, which I just kind of erased, is I want to put purple, just a straight purple in here just to bump it up. See, I started adding more shapes in here. Because it just needs more before I can even start doing the background here because I'm I don't even have all the objects in here, you know, so kind of doing the background's a little premature. Bring it right into this. I'm gonna put a circle here and then I'm gonna have this really cool organic shape up here. I can't see it in there. So I'm gonna pull this back and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I want to darken this whole thing in and I'm going to use what I have here as um to form more background shapes because I just don't have enough built up on this so I've added some shapes in here and stuff so I'm going to spend the day doing that and uh just kind of getting some more shapes into here uh messing around with the background I'm getting good at not swearing, actually. We'll keep doing more and more. I'll shoot some videos on some other stuff. I've tried a few. Uh, they just haven't worked out. It's I, I'm still working the bugs out, you know, on how to place everything. It's different. I'm used to just, like, going to town and painting. But now it's, the you know, some more prep work and stuff like that. So, anyway, thanks for uh, watching my video. Go to my website, zoloartist.com. Have a great day, everybody.